Oh, got one. Fish. Fish on. Oh, got one. Got one. The biggest bass. All right, so speaking of Bucky's, um, if YouTube doesn't work out, I'm gonna come to Bucky's and try to get a job as a assistant general manager and make $100,000 a year. If you've never been to a Bucky's or if you need a job and you're desperate, I'd suggest coming to a Bucky's and running it up here. But we're getting gas today. What do you think we should do? Google map, fishing challenge. Cause when I used to live in Oxford, Alabama, I would drive up here every day, get gas at this Bucky's and like fish all these ponds, but I haven't been to them in a year. So I think I'll have to find them on Google Maps. Dill brought me a chip and I feel like that's what he was thinking about. He brought the like Pocky one chip thing and I I don't know if I can do it, man. I don't know, I'll do it. What do you think? Cause that's a hot chip. Yeah, it is a very hot chip. So I say for me, it would take me, all right, 450 likes on the video and then the next video we will do the one chip challenge attached to whatever. So like whoever catches the most fish period in the next video, then we'll do the one chip thing. All right, cool. So. We're at Bucky's. We're gonna go, or I'm gonna go inside to see if they have any food because I'm pretty hungry. If you want something, follow. But we're gonna go inside, hopefully grab some food, and then we're going fish. We're gonna go hit the first pond. So stay tuned. What are you feeling? That the sliced brisket. Thanks. You're welcome. Big root beer guy. Almost missed the cut. Pina colada? Definitely pina colada, bro. That's fire. Good? That's fire. Oh, that might be next. That's fire. The only thing that would make Bucky's better is if they had like tables to sit and eat at. The one cool thing about Bucky's is they have everything, and by everything, they sell deer corn. To the pond, or do you want to go buy some spinner baits out of Bass Pro? I'm down. What All right, I, yeah. Because I mean, we've already wasted half hour of the day just kind of, you know, being dudes and going on dude store run. All right, guys, we have made it to the outdoor world of Bass Pro Shop, and we're here for one thing. We'll see how much we come out with. We're here for spinner baits, but we'll probably end up with rods, reels, yeah. line, yeah. lures, maybe a spinner bait. Yeah. This $40 trip will turn to a $100 trip in a heartbeat, so we'll see. Oh, that one's pretty sick with that big blade on it. I like that. Like that big blade. For the power blade, I'm going to grab one and I'm just gonna get a like basic shad with the gold blade. So we're gonna get this one and then, I don't know. We were talking about slobber knockers, so kind of feeling slobber knockers yeah. a little bit more than the power blade, even though they're a little bit more expensive. I just have more confidence in the slobber knocker than I do the power blade, just because I fish the slobber knocker more and I've caught a couple more bigger fish on the slobber knocker. Three eighths ounce, that's the size I use. It is a little windy today, so we could probably go up to like half ounce if we wanted to, but. It's all personal preference. Per personal preference. Personal. <laughs> personal. Per per it's just personal preference of what size lures you want to use. Whoa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, and I got that black pack in the back with all the tackle and whatnot in it. So whatever you need, feel free. Feels pretty good to be back at this pond, guys, just cause it's been so long since I first came out here. We've caught a lot of good fish out here on frit sides and slobber knocker. So if you know where we're at, I'll plug you. I don't come out here. Just fishing all the good old, old school juice. What are you thinking to start off with? Doing a bluegill colored slobber knocker. Oh yeah, yeah. Got the big blade. Oh, I'm pretty sure our backlash is real. Let's see. Yeah, it's backlashed. Let's see if I can pick that out. Two hours later. Oh wow, you see that? I mean, they're chasing bait right here, but they don't want this frit side, which I think is crazy. I mean, this, what's it called? I think I'm gonna go tie on like a frit side or something. Cause I mean, there's fish blowing up literally right here in front of me, but they're not eating this. So I think that just means my profile might be a little bit too big. So I might go get like that chartreuse frit side we've been catching them real good on out of the truck and try it right here. And then also we can cast that thing about a mile, so you can really get out there and cover some water. I think that's what I'm gonna do since it's already tied on. I might even go get, I might throw a couple in my pocket too. Yeah, we're gonna switch over. Oh, got one. 
Hey, that's the first one. Oh, it's been cold. First one of the Google Maps video at pond number two. Ooh, I don't know if y'all can hear me in this wind blast we're having right here. That's the first one of the day. Not too crazy big, but he's fat. He's chunky. He's eating. Fish. Fish on. He's a good one. Choked that fridge side, boys. Choked it. Pot number three of the day, deal doing what he does, catching a, what is that, a three? <laughs> Fat football, son. And he there choked that fridge side. What color is that, the white one? The, I think that's the blue back. Uh, yeah. Sexy shed color. Oh, yeah. Yes, Can't be mad at that. That's fish number one. Or fish number three, but yes. fish number two for you. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys. Uh, that's good to know. That's good to see. Good feeling. So, we're gonna keep fishing, see if there's some more out here. And guys, I know a lot of people stress and freak out because the fish is bleeding, but it's just like a cut. I mean, once his gills will, I mean, I didn't slice his gills or nothing, so his gills will heal and he will be fine. But a lot of people freak out and be like, oh, he's bleeding, he ain't gonna live. He'll live. He'll live. Batteries in that? Say it again. Is that dead batteries? Yeah. Or, yeah. Are you throwing what you got on it? Yeah, I'm gonna throw this black and blue crawfish. Old rattler trap. All right, guys, we are at pond number, what is this, four for the day? Yeah, so pond number four. Uh, this is also a Google Maps find, so we're gonna see how it goes. Stay tuned. Suburban America. <laughs> This one's nice and healthy and squishy, so see ya. Boom. In front of that beaver dam. What happened? Uh oh. Uh, people are so supportive. It really warms my heart to see how nice people can be. Thank you. Can you push it just a little bit? Okay, that's good. No, we didn't put it in. We just saw some pictures. No, we was just taking pictures for a YouTube video. Yeah, I work for Bonafide, and it was just on my shot list to get a couple of pictures. Sir? No, sir. So I've actually been fishing here for about three years, and I talked to another security guard, and she said it's okay. 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 I'll let her know. Okay. Well, there's another group of kids over there on the back side of that pond fishing right now. So, okay. Well, we're not. So, okay. Well, we're not fishing, sir. So, thank you. Cool. Oh. Is it really kids over No. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, we got out of I just wanted to move from behind the truck so I could back out. The lady don't know what she's doing. All right, guys. So a lot of y'all ask every time that I make one of these videos, like, hey, how do you find these spots? How do you do this, that, and the third? So all I do is just put my map on the satellite view. So I just put my map on the satellite view and scroll around until you literally find a pond that looks good. Um, a lot of times if you see a neighbor, if you drive by a neighborhood with fat houses in it, just turn into the neighborhood and walk around the neighborhood, drive around the neighborhood a little bit and see if there's some ponds. But it's really not that hard. Anybody can do it. Um, and all these ponds that we're going to fish today are 
ponds that I did that with. That Her dog is in the water. It is too cold. Yeah. <laughs> the time is too cold for that. Oh, bro. But yeah. You think she'll kick us out? You want to get out real quick and yeah. see? All right, see if we can get a good care. Ma'am, our daddy owns the water. But yeah, we are at, what is this, pond number seven for the day? 17,000. Yeah, pond 17,647 of today. Yeah. And we are going to try to catch a few out of it. I mean, we got four fish on the day. We could be at six, but we only, we have four, not for the lack of trying, just kind of for the lack of catching. I'll let you get the first cast at the fish feeder. Yeah, this one has some pretty good ones in it. It's just kind of, it's, I don't know. You see how it is. Yeah, it, yeah. it's a neighborhood park. Yeah, exactly. All right, boys. I don't know. Oh! <laughs> Dude, my mind went straight for like snake. Like, I'm about to die. I'm sorry, Mr. Kitty. Woo. Dude, that, my heart dropped. I felt some like a wet nose touch my leg and I didn't hear nothing walk up. Ooh, that was, that, that, you got me, Mr. Kitty. You got me pretty good. Oh. And then you're gonna get me hooked too. Do you know this cat? <laughs> oh my God, is it in my car? <laughs> what the heck? Dude, we need to take that home with us. It does have a collar on it. You keep on me, my God. Yeah, on, <laughs> look at him. He's kind of sweet. I don't know this cat, guys. This cat just touched my leg at the pond. He found the taco. Hey, uh, what, what should we name it? Um, whiskers? Whiskers, I like whiskers. Uh, whiskers. Whiskers, here boy, come on, come on. You wanna go home? Here boy. I don't know, is it a, have you checked it for a gender yet? Are you a boy cat or a girl cat? Come here. This cat literally just walked up to me and started sniffing my leg and I am not a cat person at all. Um, but this one isn't bad, I don't mind this one. Whiskers, here baby, come here. That's how people always talk to cats. Oh, this one's kinda cool. Imagine this is actually a bob. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, me and Dill have honestly been driving around for an hour trying to figure out what we were gonna do today. And we were talking about some of like our previous honey holes and like our old fishing trips four or five years ago. And he told me he used to come to this pond and he used to catch them. So we're here and we're gonna put that theory to the test. But yeah, so we're out here kind of doing a little bit of freestyling. We don't really have that long to fish. We only have an hour, so we might try to hit a couple ponds. Um, hopefully we don't have to go to any other pond and we can catch them all from this one, which I think that it's going to be pretty good because we have some shad busting already and then there is a bird eating shad on the bank. So, and then also there's a cat and I mean, I'm sure the cat probably brought me some good luck or transferred rabies to my leg. So we'll see. Will you take a picture of me with this cat? Like the long way? Yeah. Here girl. Come here. is automatically a good one. There's some big here too. Oh dude, there's a bass literally right here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Dude, there's a bass literally like right in that drain right there. Already? First cast, dude. <laughs> Maybe it is a little juicy pond. Not crazy big, but he's the first fish. Oh my gosh, cat, stop. You scared the crap. <laughs> yeah, dude. This is the thing I don't like about cats is they don't make any noise. Like it doesn't, they don't wag their tail if they get happy. Like, you know, if a dog's happy, it starts wagging its tail, but cats are just, oh, Garfield, jeez. Hey. Whiskers. Is that a big one? Uh, do, I, do you need help landing? <laughs> dude, that was kind of big. What is he on? Oh, that sea ball? <laughs> <laughs> that swim bait. Oh shoot, dude. Yeah, that's a decent one. Oh yeah, that's a nice little like two, three pounder right there. One of them big mouth bass. There you go. Yeah, he is skinny, but I mean he is like it's a good fish. Yeah. Yeah. You can't oh shoot. <laughs> dude, put him on mine. Put him on mine. Let me catch him. Yeah, dude, I bet this water's probably pretty cold. I guess that means if the water's cold, the fish are probably. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, if the air's cold or we cold, I don't know. 
Yeah, yeah I'm normally like pretty hot, but I see where you're going. Look at me soaring now. Even my soul, I pour it out. Been honest before, what you seeing now? Back when I couldn't afford a house. I used to sleep in the Prius, no heater on site on my campus. Dropped out for a job, I just couldn't manage. Was racking a debt, made it hard to see family. I ran out of panic, I started to grind at the studio. Don't tell my girl I was homeless. Was wasting a time that we could have spent. Too focused, not folding, I'm used to this. I'm not complaining, but shit to get hard, and I know what my worth is. I waited my turn. Look at me flourish, I want them to know what they're seeing right now. Was me beating my curses, I only got one life to live.